bark. Why you bark? There we go. All right. Today, I am outside on this wonderful spring afternoon to record a video for y'all. Since it is the 1st of April, April? Since it is the 1st of April, not April because that's not a month, I decided I would like to record a March favorites video. And I have a lot of favorites to tell you guys about. I have all my favorites on here, this little phone for ya. Let's get started. My first favorite of March was something that I saved up for quite a long time. I needed to make this investment just for myself and because I'm starting school again and uh, just because I really needed a new laptop. I got a new Lenovo Yoga 2 laptop. I got the 11.6 inch. Yeah, 11.6. It is honestly one of the best things I've spent my money on to date. I am so happy with it. My honestly favorite part of the whole laptop is the fact that it flips. So my laptop can be a tablet. It can be in tent mode where it stands on like a desk or a table or, you know, even on my lap. And it can be in laptop mode of course. It's super light so I can take it with me everywhere which was a huge thing I was looking for. I'm just really in love with this laptop and definitely recommend it to students or anyone just looking for just a really cool different type of laptop. Alright, on to my next favorites. I'm gonna go into more beauty favorites now and one of my current favorite beauty products is the Maybelline Color Show nail polishes. I got my first Maybelline Color Show nail polish back in December, but I've just grown even more in love with it recently because they just have so many different colors. They are extremely inexpensive. I think I spent like $2.30 for my first one, although they have gone up in price because I think they've gotten more popular. I just bought a few colors for the spring in March, so I'm actually wearing one of them now. I think this is called pink something, pink hibiscus or something like that. But yeah, it's really pretty. They're really easy to apply. They dry really fast and I'm just loving them. The next beauty favorite is a new lip balm I've bought. So I went in the Burt's Bees aisle, came across, um, all these different spring flavored Burt's Bees. And normally Burt's Bees does a pretty decent job of, you know, all the things I want in a lip balm. I got a new lip balm in pink grapefruit and it is so good. I'm wearing it right now. It makes my lips feel so soft and moisturized and it's super refreshing. It smells exactly like pink grapefruit. It's very sweet and it also tastes really good. I wanted to try a new hair mousse because I've been using the same one for years. I came across L'Oreal's Curve It hair mousse. It smells really nice. My hair feels really soft. It takes away frizz, which is a huge reason I use hair mousse because my hair naturally is very wavy and curly. So that is something that I use pretty much any time after a shower. I put in hair mousse immediately. Another one of my favorites is also a L'Oreal product. It's the Sleek It hairspray. It's like a heat protectant for my hair. And I'm always reluctant to buy heat protectants because I'm never satisfied with them. They always make my hair feel sticky. They take forever to dry, but this Sleek It spray just did not do that. It dried really fast. I think my favorite part of it is obviously the way it smells. Smells just like the hair mousse, the Curve It hair mousse. The way it sprays is awesome. It gets a lot of surface area on my hair, which is good. Like I straightened my hair today and used it, and my hair feels so soft and it smells so good. It keeps my hair styled for a good like three to four days, which is perfect. Just what I'm looking for 
with a heat protectant. These I've a I actually bought back in January, so um, the Smarch Favorites is a little mixed because it's my first favorites video. And these are things I've been loving for, well, these two things are things I've been loving for a few months. But especially this month because I'm almost out of them, which is really sad. I got the Naked Skin Liquid Foundation and an Anastasia Brow Wiz Pencil. I wanted to try a new foundation and I had a Sephora gift card so I decided I want to splurge a little bit and get something really nice that would be good for my skin because at the time my skin was just drying out really bad and every time I applied foundation it just looked cakey and it just wasn't, nothing from the drugstore was helping me out. So I found the, um, the Naked Skin Liquid Foundation at Sephora and was so beyond pleased with this foundation. I honestly love the fact that it's liquid. I feel like it's really, really light and not too heavy on my skin because it is liquid. Just the way it applies is really nice. It doesn't just stick on your face. You can move it around before it dries and it really just sits nicely on my skin and feels pretty much like I'm not wearing anything, if you can believe that. I got the color 3.5. The Anastasia Brow Wiz Pencil was my very first eyebrow pencil. I wanted to start filling in my eyebrows and shaping them a little more and just taking more care of them because it's something I've overlooked since I started wearing makeup from the beginning. So I was, of course, very pleased with Anastasia's Brow Wiz Pencil. I haven't met a single person who doesn't like it. It glides on really smoothly. One of my favorite parts of that pencil is the little spoolie on the end, I just think that's really convenient. I got my nose pierced, I want to say one or two months ago. I got it re-pierced because the hole closed after my first piercing. And it started to get infected because I wasn't cleaning it every day. I would use like a saline solution or make my own salt water and just clean around the area every once in a while but I developed an infection and needed something that would be stronger and more effective on my piercing. So I went to a piercing studio down the road for me called River City Tattoo, which is where I got my nose pierced. And I got a piercing cleanser called Germacleanse. It's what they recommended to me. And I just love it. It cleans my piercing so nicely and it feels very fresh and invigorating on my skin. It's all organic, which is a huge plus. That is something I definitely recommend doing if you do get a piercing or even a tattoo. If you're investing in a piercing, you really need to invest in proper care of it as well. So this is something I also bought a few months ago. I think it was back in December, but I've grown to love it even more now, and it is a Yankee Candle Wax Warmer. My friend recommended getting a wax warmer to me at the time and I found one at Yankee Candle just spur of the moment decided to get it and I'm so happy I did because it is so nice to have around the apartment. I have really enjoyed putting it in my bathroom for obvious reasons. It's something I can leave on all day and all night and don't have to worry about there being a flame or it melting all over the place. It's just so many different scents. And I, uh, uh, there's just too many that I love. So another thing I thought I would include in my favorites video is some of my favorite moments of the month of March. So I've narrowed it down to just a few. And one of my first favorite moments was, it was technically the end of February to like the first day of March. So I'm still gonna count it as a March favorite but it was getting to snowboard for my very first time ever. I've never been on the mountains. I've never skied, snowboarded, anything. So it was super, super fun. I went with my boyfriend and his family for a few days to Wintergreen here in Virginia and just had an absolute blast. It was a really nice way to get away from work and everything here where I live and just take a break from life. So uh, yeah, I fell a lot. My legs were killing me and it was worth it because when I finally got the hang of it, it was like, yes, hell yes, I finally can snowboard without falling. 
I didn't get to any of like the harder slopes. I definitely just stayed on the green slopes the entire time, but had just an amazing time on the mountains. I recommend trying snowboarding or skiing. If you've never done it before, this coming winter, you should definitely go out of your way to try it. My next favorite moment of March was finally registering for class again. I haven't registered for class in an entire year. As some of you know, I took a whole year off of school to really just figure myself out and get my head back on straight. I'm just really proud of myself that I've made it this far and that I'm finally continuing my education. So my last favorite moment of the month of March was receiving something very special in the mail from a few good friends of mine and it is this notebook right here. Alright. So this notebook is extremely special to me. Um, it's something that I have been writing in for the past three years. I can't believe it's been three years. But it's something me and three of my other friends from middle school who've been friends since like the fifth grade have been continuing for these three years. We met up at the end of our senior year of high school and decided we wanted to keep in touch with each other in a really intimate and fun type of way. So we decided to write each other in this notebook. Each of us get the notebook after the previous person's written in it. And we just write a little passage about our lives and what's going on and just talk to each other and you know encourage each other. And it's just been something really positive in my life. And I'm so glad we decided to do this three years ago because every time I receive it, it just brightens my day and it makes me evaluate my life and just appreciate everything that I have going on for myself and of course appreciate my friends. If you have really good friends and you're going off to school soon, I highly encourage you to do something like this. You're going to change in so many ways and just having some stable people in your life is really important. I have one more thing to include in this video that I thought would be cool to just change up my favorites video, make it a little different. I'm going to include some goals of mine for the month of April. These are a few things I have told myself I'm going to keep up with for the month of April. One, I'm going to put my laundry away as soon as possible. This is something I'm so bad with. Having things messy, whether you like to admit it or not, is just another factor to stress you out. So why not just do little things here and there to make your living space clean and comfortable and stress-free. Another thing I'm going to do for the month of April is continue going to the gym. I recently bought some new gym shoes that I'm in love with and it has really pushed me to go to the gym. So I've started lifting weights more, not anything crazy, just a little bit here and there and doing more cardio and stretching more and it's just made such a huge impact on my days. It's given me more energy and just made me feel so much better. So I want to continue my gym schedule for April and obviously for the rest of my life. My last goal for the month of April is probably my favorite one and it is to have a good freaking birthday. My birthday is April 11th. I'm finally turning 21 and I never really ever make big plans for my birthday so this year I just want to do something fun and even if I don't do anything huge I just really want to appreciate the day and have a good relaxing time and not worry about anything and just have a good birthday so that's my last goal I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video I had a lot of fun making it and looking back on all my favorite things of March I'm gonna link a lot of the items I mentioned in this video down below in the down bar what are some of your favorite things for the month of March and what are your goals for April?